Maria Freier uh, jest Santoniem, ja jest Francuzem. Anthony, bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> I, it's, uh, I'm so happy to welcome you to my bright studio. Thank you, I'm happy also. Uh, welcome here, welcome Armenia. Thank you. And uh, as a starting our interview, I just want to know about your village life. Can you tell us about your village life? And do you see any you know, similarities or are there any differences between the village of the France and Armenia? Like? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, com I'm coming from a little village that is called Aminirui. Uh, it's like 700 of, uh, of citizens there. And it's like two hours from Paris in the north of France, mm -hmm. uh, close to forest and fields. Like it's really the, the, the small village life. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so basically my life was playing in the, in the courtyard with my parents and with my dogs. We used to have chickens and uh, ah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, big, um, big stuff to, to make up potatoes and tomatoes and and that we were growing our own vegetables. I think a lot of Armenians do that also in yeah, the village. Yeah, chickens and pigs and... Mm -hmm. And uh, I was living close to the forest too, so I could uh, go to the forest often and uh, learn the trees and mm. things like this. Um, life was hard sometimes because we was not a really rich family. So for example, in, in winter, we was using candles to see. We couldn't use electricity because it was too expensive. Uh. Uh, it also have his, you know, bright side because, um, you know, uh, uh, I remember when we do not have electricity in our flat, so mine is apartment, mm -hmm. uh, we all neighbors, we are just gathering around and playing yeah. games. I remember that times and yeah. it was something to remember about. So uh, I can only associate with uh, mm -hmm. good, you know, memories mm -hmm. about that. But I yeah. guess it also has uh, his difficulties because without light, you cannot do many works in nowadays. Yeah. So I guess it was difficult. I remember when, when I was little, we got this time to not using the TV, but to play uh, yeah. uh, board games with yeah. family. So, so it's a bright side. Yeah, yeah. There Instead was of doing side. that, you have, uh, you know, opportunity, I can mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. to find out more about your friends, your family members, because in nowadays, mm -hmm. unfortunately, some people do not uh, prefer to talk in person, they prefer to talk online, calls, mm -hmm. video calls, meeting with friends online, like yeah. uh, group chats. So it's a huge opportunity for you. It was an opportunity to have that kind of memories. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's, that's the main point of, like when I go back to my village now, it's mm -hmm. really feel like that everyone is at home looking at their TV and there is no village life. Mm -hmm. I feel like in Armenia, there is still a little bit village life. Like there is still, even in small, small villages, people mm -hmm. are outside talking or uh, or the ch uh, the kids are playing football outside yeah. and that's great like i've played with a lot of kids in armenia like just they, are, <laughs> they have a ball they play football and they're coming like oh uh, <laughs> and then we just play uh, we just play together uh yeah so that's great but um yeah i think there is some similarities, similarities yes, yes, yes. but now the villages in armenia still have like more uh, little uh, markets mm -hmm. to buy food and stuff and people are more outside I think. Yeah. And uh, one thing also, in uh, our Armenian villages, some people know each other because mm -hmm. it's kind of small villages. Mm -hmm. Is that the same like in uh, your country as well? No, 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 because because people stay just at their home. They take ah. their car, they go to the city to work, they come back and they go to their TV. So uh, there is something to go with your friend, uh, neighbor, drink coffee and gossiping about other neighbors. Not, not a this. lot. <laughs> it, it's still a little bit, but it's really not like it's so no gossiping. No. No gossiping. <laughs> go, we gossip on the friends that come in the uh, house and then they go out and now we gossip about them. Ah, they will sometimes because, you know, uh, what kind of village is it if there, there are no any grandpa, grandmas <laughs> talking and gossiping during the coffee about the other grandma? But yeah. when she came and joined there, oh, hello, how are you? Is everything okay with you? They're friends. But when she leaves, look at her, look at her. Yeah, yeah. We, you, know, uh, you also have that kind yeah, of... Yeah, obviously. That's perfect. Then I you have a village life, I guess. All the elders are like this in the world. So that's a real village life because yeah. that's what I like about villages. <laughs> so I was always wondering about the life of the Paris, mm -hmm. you know, the romantic life, the romantic nights, the, you know, about the birds and croissants. So everything that uh, are associated with the Paris are that in reality the same or you can tell us some news? Okay, so there is two different Paris. There is yeah. a touristic Paris, like it's the Paris of Tour Eiffel, uh, Montmartre, etc. Et uh, everything is not Parisian because mm. uh, like it's really for the tourists. There is basically only the tourists that go there. 
And then there is what I prefer, it's the real Paris. It's like when you go to some district, some um, uh, streets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like the croissant, the uh. coffee, like the coffee on the, on the side. And you take your croissant, drinking your coffee in front of a beautiful church. And everyone uh. is dressing really well. You have people that take baguettes, people that buy flowers for their uh, girlfriends. Yeah. So that's amazing when you see that. Yeah. It's only a few streets. Ah. But if you go to Paris and you find those streets, you will have a, a wonderful Parisian experience. I feel like a movie, yeah? Yeah. As we all know about the singer Charles Aznavour, yeah. maybe I would like to know if you heard about him or you know any songs and which one is your the most favorite? Yeah, I really like Aznavour. Uh, um, I really do. And even before coming to Armenia, uh, I knew that he was, he was a French Armenian. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know that his name it was Aznavourian Aznavour, before yeah. uh, before uh, converted to French like Aznavour. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I really like Aznavour. We used to sing it uh, with the friends when, uh, like, for New Year's or for uh, just gathering between friends. We sing a lot. It's um, mm -hmm. moi mm -hmm. Au bout de la terre. <laughs> this one. The three so, uh, what, what is that, that, transition, that translation? Um, it's like bring me uh, at the edge of the world. And I really like this song because like, I, I even prefer it now that I'm in Armenia because the, the theme of the song is like, is the man uh, living in the north of France, like me, and uh, yeah. is like annoying of all the gray sky every day. Yeah. It's like you want to see the sun. And like he's walking uh, on a boat. And he's seeing the boat every day coming uh, from beautiful countries with a lot of fruits yeah. and a lot of sun. And he's saying, like, I want to go to one of these boats and just making my life in those countries where the sun is here every day. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm in Armenia, <laughs> yeah. there is sun every day. When it's cloudy and rainy, you can be fully yeah. happy, I guess. Yeah. We need sun. We need yeah, sun. we need sun. So it's like, it was the theme of this song. And I love a lot of different uh, Charles Navour songs. Like not only the most famous, but also small one about women. I really like the songs that is written about love and women. Yeah. And obviously La Bohème is, uh, La is Bohème. incredible. <laughs> and yeah, I, I used to really like sing it. Uh, yeah. My the most favorite one is uh, Une Vie d'Amour, but I don't know the trans the translation mm -hmm. as well. Une Vie d'Amour. Which? In a Vidamo, it's a, a, a lovely life or a life of love. Ah, it's also about life and love. Okay. Uh, I'm happy that you like his songs. I know about yeah, him. Yeah, I really like Thank it. you. And talking about the music, mm -hmm. do you know any Armenian music uh, already? And you have your most favorite one and that you just find mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. in nowadays? Oh, yeah, basically. So I listen Western Armenian music and Eastern Armenian music mm -hmm. uh, in... Eastern Armenian music, I know the really classical, like um, Yerevan Yar Ah, yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, Laveli, and uh, which one is like uh, Men Kierku um, <laughs> yes, it's like um, <laughs> na, 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 na. Wait, Ah, yeah, 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 I know. Um, how about wedding? Yeah, 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 yeah. But my favorite Armenian band is uh, called, it's named Element Band. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Western Armenian. Uh, it's not really famous, yeah, but I don't it, know about it's that. Uh, a mix between modern and classical, like um, popular classical Armenian mm -hmm. songs. And this is, I love it because it's really chill and with uh, the singer I have a really beautiful voice. So I put that, now it's in my playlist. Uh, every day I listen a little bit of Western Armenian. <laughs> I would like to know what, what you know the fact about Armenia mm -hmm. and about us that surprised you mostly. Oh, it's uh, you know that I like history, and I went to a lot of different museums in Armenia. And the most surprising thing is all the things that Armenia have made, or like it's basically a whole civilization nah. since Urartu uh, kingdoms, and nobody knows about it. And Armenian people. Uh, I've built so much stuff and like this is mm. almost the first civilization in the world yeah. and nobody knows about it. And I was yeah. like, wow, like we have, they are create, they, the they create so, fun, so much too. things. For example, the colorful television mm -hmm. and some of the, that, that parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but can you tell also about like when you came here at the first place and you were like, um, I was, this is Armenia? <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> 
<laughs> homage to woman was beautiful here. Woman? The way, yeah, yeah. yeah, homage to woman was beautiful, like really goodly dressed yeah. and putting a lot of makeup, like taking care of themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because in Paris, you have a lot of girls that just don't care and go out with joggings ah. and uh, and just going to work, uh, not to work, but like to to, to university. And uh, like, they just put on the clothes and something, but yeah. the girls, no way. And, and here the girls like take yeah. a lot of time to make manicure, to have a beautiful... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, that's surprising. That's great. <laughs> and, um, yeah, also they take themselves a lot in pictures. Yeah, selfies. Yeah, selfies. And uh, have you tried uh, Armenian croissants? And how were they for you? <laughs> okay, I tried them. I tried many of them. But to be honest, just uh, to be honest. Yeah, I really like the croissant. Like for, in France, we only have the croissant, the normal croissant. Like we don't put anything inside. And like just a bread? Uh, yeah, it's just a bread croissant. Like oh. that's all. And we eat like this and it's amazing yeah. with the with the <laughs> coffee. And first time I was in my job and uh, a colleague said, oh, take a croissant, uh, you're French. And I took it and I was like, why there is chocolate inside? <laughs> the chocolate <laughs> came out. Yeah, and I was like, why do you put chocolate in the croissant? Is the croissant not enough? <laughs> <laughs> it's itself is so sweet as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I have these uh, following questions that I always ask to my guests. Mm -hmm. And I would like to know what Armenian words do you know? Yes, I know Armenian words. Yes, I know Armenian words. Mhm. Eh Which Armenian cities you visited and uh, what is your the most favorite one? Mm -hmm. Uh, so obviously I've been to Yerevan, Gyumri, Vanatsor, uh, Dilijan, not Jevan for, for now, <laughs> maybe maybe soon. Uh, I want to go to Goris, I haven't been for now. Uh, I've been to a lot of monasteries in the north of uh, Armenia. I don't remember all of their names, but uh, I've been to Hmiatsin, mm. I really liked it. Like Hmiatsin, I, I really, really liked it. Um, Gyumri or? Gyumri I went, Garni too. Hoktamberian? Octamberia? Yeah, Octamberia. No, no. You have to go there. You will like it. <laughs> what is this? You will like Octamberia. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, what Armenian dish is uh, your favorite one? Cholovats. Cholovats. I really like Cholovats. I really bar like barbecue in France, but um, when I went here and I tried the barbecue here, I'm like, okay, these people knows how to make barbecue. <laughs> this, is no? <laughs> this is Cholovats. This is Cholovats. This is Cholovats. And yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really like it. Like when we when we make big Armenian traditional uh, banquets, like uh, all the table is full of food. Mm. And when the meat's coming, I'm like so <laughs> happy, like I can take so <laughs> Like the, f the fact that we can eat chicken, beef and pork Everything. at the same time, and sometimes rabbits and like, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Like I love meat a lot. <laughs> and uh, you're in the right country. <laughs> yeah, I'm really in the right country. But no, I also potato and then Vodka a little bit, yeah. if you like. Yeah, <laughs> I prefer red wine. I really like the, uh, the, the, the Armenian red wine, but the vodka is also good. And uh, what are the most complicated things uh, to live in abroad? Mm -hmm. And what do you miss mostly about France? Mm. Uh, I think the most complicated thing is language. Mm -hmm. I know maybe it's a common answer, but like it's really sad that sometimes people don't talk English and mm -hmm. I don't speak enough good uh, Armenian, so I'm like frustrated. I want to tell them things or I want to understand what they want to say me, their life, and I, I just cannot uh, mm. because of the language. But something that I, I'm working on, and sometimes you can just have discussion without words with mm. the ends and stuff that can happen. But yeah, it's, it's the most complicated part uh, to not understand everything, everything uh, of each other. Yeah. And what I miss the most in France is my family and my friends. Sure. All the things about food, all that, just just details that. But the family and the and the friends is like uh, it's like the most hard. I call them often, but it's like yeah. I have some friends that will come uh, next month. I'm really happy they will come to see yeah. me uh, in Armenia and they will visit Armenia. So I'm really happy. You will be the guide, I guess. Yeah. You I will show them. I will <laughs> you know try to be the guide. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And uh, that's great that you can go and see your family. 
um, if you miss them, you can go maybe late. Will one day come join you, watch the country? Yes. Yeah. And uh, Anthony, I would like to know what you can tell the people who never been to Armenia mm -hmm. and uh, why would they visit Armenia? The reason. There is so many reasons to visit Armenia. Like the people are amazing. Really, I know that everyone says that, but yeah, the hospitality is amazing here. You can just go to a village and mm -hmm. start start talking with someone and they will invite you to take a coffee inside and like everyone will be happy that you speak a little bit of Armenian and uh, and everyone is cheerful and bring you food, so much <laughs> food each time. <laughs> and uh, the Yerevan is a really beautiful city. So just seeing Yerevan and all the, all the monasteries and all the cities around like for one week in, in Armenia is, uh, or two weeks, it's you can see so much things about the history and yeah discovering the history of Armenia for me it has been like something really huge uh, to discover all of this so if you are a history enjoyer like come to Armenia you will really see a lot of things that uh, that are amazing okay. and the food are great <laughs> merci and and i can say that most armenians do know french because we say merci instead of our yeah, merci. so <laughs> i can say most people know french and uh thank you so much for this amazing interview thank you too. and uh, i hope that we can meet very soon when you know open armenian and we can have a next <laughs> interview in armenian i yeah, guess yeah and sure. uh, you can tell about your friends uh, when they came here and i want to tell uh, our Followers, please, if you like my videos and my interviews, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, share the videos. And we're gonna meet in our next videos. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.